Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark and welcome back to Entrepreneurial Finance. Today what I wanted to do in light of the recent Super Bowl is kind of debunk whether the winner of uh, the Super Bowl can accurately predict how the stock market performs for the next year. Now the age old myth is that whenever the AFC wins, it's a bad year for stocks and that whenever the NFC wins, it's a good year for stocks. So what I did is I went all the way back to the first Super Bowl, I calculated the return of the S&P 500, which is one of the better proxies for the American market for that given year. And I basically assigned a value to it, whether it was correct or incorrect when the NFC or the AFC won the Super Bowl. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. You can see here that the NFC has won the Super Bowl 26 times and the AFC has won the Super Bowl 28 times. So pretty even actually. Now, as the hypothesis states, whenever the NFC are champions, the return for that year should be above 0%, okay? So whenever that happened, I assigned it a value of correct. And whenever the AFC won and there was negative returns for the market, I assigned it a value of correct. If anything else happened where the NFC won and it was a negative year or the AFC won and it was a positive year, those were assigned the values of incorrect. If we look all the way back to the first Super Bowl, you can see that this predictor is actually correct 66% of the time. So basically, if the NFC wins, you have two thirds odds that the stock market is positive this year. Or if the AFC wins, you have two thirds odds that the stock market is negative this year. Given the volatility of the stock market, this is actually quite the accurate predictor. In my experience, at least, there's not many things that tell you 66% of the time that the stock market is gonna go up. Now, granted, this doesn't work 100% of the time, and I'm gonna get a little bit more into exactly what the returns look like when the NFC wins and what the returns look like when the AFC wins. So basically, on average, when the NFC wins, the market does about 10.5% that year. On average, when the AFC wins, it only does about 6.99% or 7%. As much as the Super Bowl indicator is pretty much a myth, the numbers don't lie. And basically, whenever the NFC wins, it kind of tells you that the stock market does better on average. That doesn't mean every single time it's gonna work, but on average, it does do better than when the AFC wins the Super Bowl. Now, there's one more thing I looked at, and that was the average percentage when the indicator was correct versus the average percentage when the indicator was incorrect. Okay, so my research shows that when the NFC wins, Wins and the stock market goes up or when the AFC wins and the stock market goes down on average it returns about 4.4% which isn't the best to be honest inflation is about 2% so you're only really making about 2.4% there in a given year what I found extremely interesting is that when the indicator is incorrect the market actually averages 17.4%. Okay, so what that means is if the NFC won and the stock market's down, or if the AFC won and the stock market's up, if you average out those years, it work out, works out to a net gain of about 17.4%, which is quite the anomaly. Now, given the indicators actually only has been incorrect about 33% of the time. Now, given these are all historical stats, this isn't necessarily a guaranteed fact, okay? So only 66% of the time is this correct. In my opinion, the Super Bowl indicator is pretty much a myth. You know, 66%, it's, it's all, you're only 16% uh, away from a 50-50 chance. You really have no idea what the market's gonna do. It's not necessarily correlated with the market. Correlation doesn't necessarily equal causation as all you statisticians out there know. I just wanted to point that out. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know who you were cheering for in the Super Bowl. And given that the AFC won this year, does that mean the stock market's gonna go down? Who knows? We have about 33% chance of being incorrect. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share the video with a friend if you learned something. And as usual, have an awesome day. Peace out, guys.